it's just better in basically all cases. You wanna come up here so I can slap you? You wanna come down here so I can slap you? I mean, no, give me. Oh, it landed on something. <laughs> you motherfucker! Shoop! <laughs> Look at my, look at this cheese. No, cheesecake pr takes priority. He doesn't want to look at the cheesecake. He's got stuff to do. He's a busy man, the captain. It's okay. It's okay. There wasn't nothing exciting anyway. I see my cheesecake. Nobody's excited about my cheesecake. I'm the only one that's happy about the cheesecake. I wish you could play this game as Zora Link from Majora's Mask. <laughs> I wish anyone cared about my cheesecake. Yeah, I got that one. Sambar? Oh, Sambar? So that's gotta be Indian too, That's right? also my guess, it's Indian. If I have no idea what it is, but I can say the word, I think Indian. Yeah. And if I have no idea what it is, but it looks like that, it's Korean. Like, I'm not racist as long as it's right! I'm not racist as long as it's right! Come on, chicken! Oh, chicken! Come on, chicken! I'll tell you a tale as old as time. A classic repeating paradigm. Maiden trapped at the peak of our climb. Her fisherman love driven out of his mind. A hero will right the wrongs of this crime. That's the song. How did you like it? <laughs> That's the whole song. Okay. That's what you've been doing. Moonvale, what ha? And now Halberd? Oh shit, a second one. It's Bill Gargo! <laughs> Fuck, why does this keep happening? <laughs> why does this keep happening to everyone I fight? <laughs> you guys live here! You should know where the windows are! <laughs> Stop flying out the window! <laughs> okay, focus hard. Do big focus. What are you doing? Big focus. You're doing big focus here. Doing big focus. I appreciate your efforts. Are effort. you stealing my hoodie while no. I'm literally. I would never. I would never. So, okay. So, work work with me here. Work with me here. Work with me here. Okay. So what's Why? Gonna... Why would <laughs> I work with you? What's going to happen is I'm going to go like this. Why would I work with you? <laughs> When you make my life harder. <laughs> In every way. Okay, work with me here, work with me here. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> if anyone is out there feel a little sad <laughs> about our recent Singles Awareness Day and your station in life, <laughs> this is what having a girlfriend is like. You're not missing anything. <laughs> this is... This is what... This is it. This is this is having a girlfriend. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ah. Numbers. But sorry, you space 12.
We came full circle. Oh my god. We've come full circle. No way. The Desarius base 12. Okay, I love Nubia. Nubia is my favorite, Civ. Oh what, my god. Happening? The last two cities I made are Shat and He. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you named that one yourself, too. No! H E H is like He. That's the people I the city. Nice. Oh, I'm playing these guys forever, man. This, this is my new main. I love these guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, this game's gonna be cancelled, dude. We gotta stop playing this. You <laughs> should do it, Turn it. Oh, come on. Wait. Oh, They might need to magazine capacity. They might have to patch that one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Means I can get more flames. We're gonna have a lot of flames. I hear the gladiator man fucking stomping after me. I do not hear it. I pretend I do not hear it. Actually hit me? I'm missing health. Hold on, I gotta be over here. I'm just gonna blow up immediately. Boing! Oh. I watched him murder your master. Oh, that absolute lad! Holy shit, what a I champion! What a fucking guy! That promote that motherfucker! Holy shit, he actually did the push! Wow! <laughs> oh god! Oh, I love this game! This game's a fucking masterpiece! <laughs> Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, <laughs> you oh, God. Oh, sorry. God, it's so funny. That's, so That's like not a joke. We're actually calling these plorts. Okay. Shoot a plort into the port market and earn some cash. Oh, probably the fucking hole with an arrow pointing at it. <laughs> Hold on. I figured it out. We, we got there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know there's a very pretty number on the board right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm already dead. I think I just owe uh, myself. Hold all these, please. <laughs> In my defense, he was also dead. Because if I threw the icicle, it was more than 2191 damage. So I also one shot at the boss. I, I consider that an absolute win. We also one shot at it. I'm taking that one. There was a neutral. He technically lives because we didn't throw the orb, but the orb definitely also killed him. It was a draw, you all saw it. So picture this, okay. you're in a dungeon, 
and you are been cornered by a skeleton. Spooky. Super spooky. And you've only got this dagger to defend yourself with. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to stab the skeleton, but it's not really a thing. Doesn't cut bone good. Goes right through the bones. He just calls you a jerk. There's nothing else that really happens there. So you decide, well, maybe I can try something else. Can knock him down. Trip him. You can trip him. You can do a trip attack. And then he's on the floor. Maybe you've an easier time getting at him. Your friends might be able to come and help kick him and try Tactical to Tactical advantage. Exactly. So you make this trip attack and you roll this d20. And you know, you could pass or you could fail. You either six of you knock him down or not. Exactly. Oh, hey there. This is a weird fucking bit, isn't it? You want to watch a fully grown adult human get lost and then stuck on an incredibly simple puzzle for like four hours? Stick around. Everything is really bright. I don't know how visible this is on the camera. My eyes are so fucking dilated. Oh my god. <laughs> I turned all the lights on. I turned all the lights on to start streaming and I'm like... Oh shit! <laughs> it's so bright in here! Fuck! Juxo Astrios, Dark Heart 985, Certs and 12 starting us off with a cannonade today. Welcome in, everybody! I had to get a new contact lens description. So I had to go to the optometrist. And it's been several years since I've been to the optometrist, so they dilated my eyeballs. So they could look at them and make sure I don't have fucking eyeball cancer or whatever the hell it is that they look for when they put the the gemstone with the brightness of the surface of the sun up to your eyeball and are like, okay, now don't blink, I'm gonna look at your eyes. I'm like, you're pointing a laser beam directly into my dilated eyeballs. I'm gonna blink at least a couple of times. I just want to make sure we're on the same fucking page here. GG slowly accumulating a toy pile in here. Asak Nanadro 10, welcome in. How you guys doing? They're looking at my cornea. I know they're looking at, I don't know the fucking names of the parts of the, uh, parts of the eyeball. I know they're looking the at the back pool. of the eyeball and they gotta dilate your pupils Cannonball. so that they can shine a bright enough light that your pupil basically becomes transparent because it's the thing your pupil does is let light in so they can look at the back of your eyeball. I get the concept of what they're doing, all right? I do, I understand it. Hermagist is 40 months in the pool. You were the shiniest squidling. But like, holy fuck, it's so bright. As they look at first, they just have the big, like, laser light thing, like the two-inch little just beam that they just put right here, and you're like, all right, that's pretty fucking bright, but that's okay. Whatever, look at my eyeballs. And then they look at that for a second, and they look at your other eyeball, and they're like, okay. And then they hold up the fucking magnifier 12,000 Tron in front of it. <laughs> and it fucked tumbles in brightness. I'm not good at that. I'm not good at the optometrist. Anyway, my eyes are still super dilated, and it's very bright in here. It's a, a thing that's like, that doesn't translate super well on the screen. Anyone who's never tried to set up, like, any kind of a visual fucking medium like this before, especially involving, like, a green screen. My green screen's even a little bit shit. I gotta fix this. Oh, it's because I got all the boxes stacked up over there, actually. It it doesn't really translate how many lights that you need. <laughs> like there's there's a it's not just like I'm sitting in my regular office with the ceiling light on. Let me show you. Welcome I'll just show you. you know, I've, this happened a couple of times. Pool. That I forgot to turn all the extra lights. Ever just got late. done watching the previous vod. The gorilla Six from downtown before. on the trooper was, was funny as fuck. The fucking gorilla. The gorilla flying in from another continent to just destroy that guy is one of the funniest things that's happened in all games. Anyway, for reference.
I would say this is a normal amount of light, but this is even less. This is even less, or more rather. This is, this is more light than like a normal room in a house has because the light fixture in my ceiling, I took the cover off and put like stronger wattage bulbs in there just for a little bit of additional bonus light. So this is, this here is brighter than an average bedroom or office. And then, for streaming... I turn on all of that! <laughs> and my pupils are dilated as fuck. <laughs> so it's very fucking bright in here. <sighs> Maybe I should honestly just, like, put sunglasses on. I'm gonna look like a stupid idiot. Oh no, my sunglasses are in the car. Hold on, I don't think my sun- I think they're in the car and Brennan has the car. Let me go see if I can find- Literally, it might- it's probably smart to put on a pair of sunglasses. So I don't hurt my eyes. Well, it would be smart. Unfortunately, I own exactly one pair of sunglasses, and they live, they live in the car. Like, wait, hold on. Oh, no, wait, hold on. I have the meme sunglasses. Oh, God, they're so dirty. I haven't pulled these out in forever. Hold on. I'm about to actually be carried by shitty memes. Let me wipe them off. Oh, the lens. Oh, right. These are the frames are broken. Oh, son of a bitch. Backman said I've actually looked dope. Just do that. Just, sorry, my pupils are dilated. The green screen's going to be a little sad today. Set up. I can clean these lenses off a little bit. It's just dusty. They've just been sitting on my counter unused for basically ever. Okay, put the lenses back in. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is gonna be me today. I'm gonna wear the funny Twitch sunglasses. That wow! Is this not? This is the song that plays on the scene that I use these for, isn't it? Hold on. What the fuck? There's what are the odds of that shit? Is that not the scene that is that not the the song that actually plays on this? Oh, my stream deck froze. I guess we'll never know. Oh no, I never went back and reset these up. Right, that's why I haven't used it in basically forever because these buttons don't work anymore. I have to go back and uh, re. They did something. Oh no, the frame de stream deck is completely frozen. Huh. I knew it was broken. Well, I mean, I remembered after I hit the button. Oh, there it goes. Wow, it's so broke. Okay, it played it like 17 times. Okay, hold on, everything's real broke. It is the right music though. It's the same one. God damn. <laughs> what are the odds? It was from this. Please unfreeze. I'm literally begging you. Thank you. Well, Sentient Playlist is definitely a Sentient Playlist. It pulled up the... <laughs> Pulled up this song from the fucking scene. Someday I'll go back through and fix all that shit. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but like, I need to put it uh in my list of things to do. Where's my list of things to do? Things to do. Fix all the funny scenes from the stream deck update that broke everything. <laughs> I do miss having all the funny cutaway buttons, but you know, they big fucking broke. They big fucking broke. All right, so I'm gonna wear these today, and chat, I'm gonna rely on you for assistance here. 
Because surely throughout the stream, many people are going to arrive and ask why the fuck Squids looks like a blind person. First of all, I'm taking blind playthrough to a new level. Second of all, an actual answer, my pupils are extremely dilated. It's very bright in the room, and I don't want to hurt my eyeballs. So I'm going to wear sunglasses today. I'm going to wear my funny Twitch meme glasses. Shout outs to these for being the only sunglasses I can find in the house. It works. Tell them I've gone blind and I'm playing on pure instinct. We've entered actual ultra instinct mode. Oh, I'm my nose. So last time on this shit, as in yesterday, Uh, some stuff happened. I guess we're in story B now. We've entered the, like, an entire second plot. We finished the first plot. Hey. GG. You dog. I fucking thought. We finished the first plot. Killed the final boss and got the MacGuffin. Literally the entirety of the game has been centered around. And then... We've now entered plot two. <laughs> because I was... Didn't feel like the game was over. It would have been a very awkward ending. It definitely was not, like, from a narrative direction building up to an ending. But I didn't know what the fuck it was gonna do because we literally had concluded... Like, every single plot thread. Like, it was all- it had been closed. This is a fully second plot now that spirals off of the first plot, which is interesting. I think that's a road less traveled, for sure. To just complete your story and then do a different story. <laughs> different related story! It's not like we're just fucking off to do something completely unrelated. It's just like, this is a whole less- Second story. Also, we're Jedi God right now. I know a shortcut. Stand back. We have to hold the hangar until evacuations are complete. We can do that. Why aren't the base defenses active? Something's wrong. Be careful. <laughs> That's for you. Wait, does she deflect lasers by just walking normally? Oh my god, she one-shots shields with just light attacks? Good lord, Seer. This bitch is unstoppable. Yeah, that's a lot of... Oh, boy. <laughs> that's a lot of fellas. Okay. Surprise, bitch! She def oh my god, she does. She deflects on a hard block. You don't have to time it. There's no timing. Her normal block is a deflect. Jesus. Serious OP is shit. Okay, the problem with the sunglasses is that while my eyes are more sensitive to light, it's not... Things are not actually brighter. <laughs> I can't see very well. The game is very dark. Okay. Oh, oh, there's a fella. I think she has literally every upgrade. I can push security droids. Oh, he didn't die. I guess that makes sense. He's just kind of on a hill. Okay, I've made a mistake. I don't... I'm not really sure what to do about this. Look. I guess he just kind of was on a hill. Oh, 
Huh? Well, it's a good thing that just happened to be exactly there and nowhere else. If that hadn't been specifically right there, that wouldn't have gone as well. Okay, I can't go that way. Can I open this door? How do I get up there? A two percept. Oh, I can go through where the bomb was. Two perception is gonna be like really bad today, cause boy howdy, the game is extremely dark with sunglasses on. But I, I do need them. At least for now. All right, sir. Murderous rampage. What is this, dude? I don't even know what those dudes are. Those are new dudes. We got new fellas. Stop, I'm trying to push the ball. Fuck it. Fuck off. <laughs> oh. Go, charge the thing. I guess we put these in a really good spot because they like happen to end up exactly where all of the ATATs were. So like that lined up great. <laughs> This would have been much less useful had they been three feet to either direction. The Empire has breached the tunnels. They are attempting to open the hangar gate from the inside. To the hangar. Anywhere. Okay. Marin, can you? Of course. Can you not, Seer? Oh shit! Yeah, they have a whole ass star destroyer. I don't even see the entire star destroyer. Sir, I feel like you could Jedi up there. I, so I don't think you need the rope. You can just wizard mode this shit, surely. Hi, Mary. I'm here. Don't worry, it's me. The Empire loves frontal assaults. That's true. They do love charging directly into the meat grinder. They're they're big fans of the Russian winter approach. And many more will die if we do not secure the hangar. What the hell is this? He would want us to salvage what we can of the other. And the contact comes. Yeah, I mean, if Cordova mattered, he wouldn't have died to just like a dude no shooting him with a blaster twice. Can I do this? Oh! I've never seen an option as good for that. Then we'll stop. It was never an opportunity as beautiful as that for the Giga Slammer. This is fuck all y'all. Okay, this doesn't lead anywhere. This is in fact a loop. Uh, do I just jump down there? Because usually the game doesn't like it when I jump places. Oh, we can open this with our force magic. Force unlocked. Do it. Keep shooting. Oh, there's a real guy. Oh, that's a true stun box. Oh, there's a perch over the gun. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, this guy. Okay, perch is going to actually block us. Yo, what? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. you speak in the mic, please. Let's go anyway. No, okay. Can I force open this weird door? Can I force jump over it? I mean, no. Can I force push this button? <laughs> what now? Down to the hangar. I don't know how to do that. Okay, this so was like, I don't know how to do down to the hangar. He boop. So the, uh, the purge troopers 
can actually... This is the first thing it's been able to even use their block meter against here. They can actually fight, like, Jedi Masters. What a nice surprise. Stay in the Mantis until we secure the They're item. good at stuff. Copy that. Good luck, Captain. Push them back. Steady. Lol. Lol. Oh. Lol. <laughs> How many five year olds keep taking a fight? Okay, lift and slam are pretty cool. Oh, that guy's got a rocket launcher. Wow, oh, she has a very long attack sequence. This might just be regular singles. <laughs> Did hit him? It might just be regular single saber, but I'm pretty unfamiliar with single saber. Ooh. Are there? Are there too many? I'm not saying I can find an unlimited number of them, but boy howdy, I can find like a like a lot. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, okay, that's an ATSC. Now that's a problem. Okay, he just kind of died for no reason, so that's cool. They're coming. This is it. Bring me more motherfuckers. They're here. God. They will destroy the no more. Cease. Ah! I cast fuck my own house. be nice if Cal splurged on turrets for the Mantis or something. Yeah, you know, if we could have like one gun on the Mantis, it would have been useful a surprising number of times, honestly. He probably just turned off his comm. Seer, what now? Put like two turrets on it. The amount of times this happened is not like super common, but like if I had a nickel for every time, two nickels, you know the meme. I will join you. No. Marin, I need you to stay here and defend the Mantis. BD, go with her. Keep the engines warm. Got four guns on the mantis. Grez is holding them. That grease. You hurry back. Man's fucking quadra strapped. Thank you. From the makers of dual wielding, it's quadra wielding. Okay. So. I may have overestimated my, overestimated my ability to stream with dilated pupils. Because this is still fucking hurting my eyes even through the sunglasses. Which is honestly really surprising. I did not think it would be that bad. Oh, fuck, it's still, like, very bright. We might have to go darkroom approach. We might have to try darkroom approach. Hold on, let me see. So let's do this. I'm just gonna reveal to you my secrets. Because it'll, it'll look less weird if I just don't have the chroma key on. I'm not getting up. Hey, thank you to you. I'm getting up because my eyes hurt. Go to the shadow realm, boys. We're going to the shadow realm. <laughs> I need to not. Yeah, I need to not fuck up my eyeballs. It kind of defeats the entire purpose of the optometrist if I fuck up my eyeballs. Let me add a text thingy. Minuetry sub Don Coffee, that absolute legend. Hey, Let me 
make a thing. Pupils dilated. Light. Hurdy. <laughs> And we'll just put that right here. There you go. No, GG down. Just very confused. There we go. <laughs> we'll put it this way. Dark side POV. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the fucking dark side. Okie dokie. Where am I going? I don't know. I... I truly can't overstate how hard it is for me to actually see this screen. I really cannot see it very well. And I know I'm not going to use that to pretend that I know how to get out of the Anchorite headquarters because I don't. Pretty sure it's this way. I hope Cal is okay. We have PD1. We, we got him from the Mantis. The My little fella. And save as much of the archive as we can. There's Pushy Ball. There's Pushy Ball. Now let's go. Oh no. About saving the archive. I don't know how much of that we're going to be doing. PD1, take this to the Mantis. I'll meet you at the rendezvous point. Are we going with the the lore that we can download the entire Jedi archive onto a thumb drive? Technology we do have Hello. that Technology, we don't have, like, anything else <laughs> that would be even remotely functional. God damn it, Todd Howard, you did it again. It's been a while. I was hoping you drowned on Noor when we blew a hole in your underwater base. It is delusion to think your actions have had any consequence. The fortress stands. The Inquisitorius continues its work. And I have come for you. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, we're making a pit. All right, cool. We gotta, we gotta make a cool fight pit first. Oh, we had that one extra piece in there. I'll eat two shots. I didn't look at my health. Everything else did zero damage so far, but I guess this is literally Darth Vader. He's probably gonna do a pretty decent amount of damage. That one's slow. Your failure is inevitable. Those aren't blocks? Oh, because they true combo. Oh, I see. Okay, so the, the back half of this game feels like that's just going to be how boss design is, is most stuff true combos. Cause this is like the third consecutive boss where if you get hit, you eat the whole string. You waste time. That, that's a total crew combo. Shut on your parade here, but I don't think we're Vader tier. You have gathered the remnants of the Jedi tradition. You're a character that did not exist prior to these games. I don't think we're at Vader level. Wait, look at all these floppy disks. A 
Okay. Ow. Rude. Oh, he's got a throw. Waste time. All right, I'm getting the quick poke he's got as the follow-up down. I'm starting to figure it out. It just his follow-up up to the his parry comes a little faster than I think it's going to. There we go. You have grown stronger. No, I've only let go of my fear. We shall see. <laughs> just wiggling our lightsabers at each other. try to use force stuff on him it obviously won't work but i want to see how it doesn't work because it's probably cool oh my floppy discs we did it we killed vader <laughs> No, who could possibly have known that he'd still be there? Oh, it's Sister Freed Phase Three. Black Flame Vader. I'm gonna say there's no way this guy doesn't have a Phase Three. We don't have any heals though, so we're definitely fucked. He <laughs> slammed me back. Man. Oh, it does actually make him kneel. Kneel, bitch. Oh, he's giving you some shit. Oh, he, oh no, he's doing some shit. Oh, countered me. Zoop, 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 zoop. This is a sick duel, I'll give him that. Down, boy. My boy! So we are like Vader tier with Seer. That's like, she is like a master, master. Vader's level 80, Seer is like 79. They made it, the, the Vader bust I was pretty sick. As soon as they figured out that his like parry stab is just a little bit faster, it was, it was got him, let's fucking go.
Hey guys, I'm back. I have some bad news about my master and my master's master. And also bowed. At least we still have our hot Sith GF. I think it's super neat just from oh we're still going hold on in touch with you little robot chicken i'm sad take care of that yeah they're safe we'll find the proper place to bury him soon the remaining Anchorites have scattered. The Empire pursues them. They may return at any moment. Seer bought enough time for BD1 to reach us with the contact codes for the hidden path. But this oh, right, that was the contact codes, not the archives. The Obviously, the archive the is archives. fucking destroyed. We kind of fought Vader in the middle of the archives and destroyed everything. So close to a second chance. What a fun raw deal. Tell me. If Cal had a nickel for every time Vader showed up and ruined everything, he is no Jedi. He'd have two nickels. Why couldn't we sense him? He deceived us all. No, I still should have been that's able. That's the that's the question I'm curious about. Is how did nobody pick up on the boat? <laughs> that's enough, okay? We had a master, a grandmaster, Cal, fucking Marin the Space Witch. That nobody it's could read his ass. Him. We all know it's a rigged game, but we choose how to play. It's a shame that there's not a bounty on his head. We could have hunted him with a guilt tracker. Idea. I'm gonna call my most okay, powerful man. friend Cage. That's how Boat reached us on Kobo. Could it still be active? Well, let's find out. Local man uh, runs this entire fucking deception for the whole duration of the game. Forgets he has a locator no. beacon. <laughs> oh, Single. whoops. Right, I Spence. forgot I had that. Dial it in. Nova Garon system. Wait a minute, why, why would Bo take a detour? He's got a daughter. Maybe that's where she lives. We could catch him there. This feels like a trap. Yeah, yeah there's no universe Bo just forgot think? he had a locator beacon on him kidding. that we have the other one of. I don't see what choice we got. For Seer and Master Cordova. I there's, there's no way he did all of this and was like, oh, you whoopsie poopsie. Oh, my fucking location's turned on on my iPhone still. This is hella bait. This is phenomenal fucking bait is what this is. We got a Nova gear on. So I think it's, I think it's super neat this far into the game, even just from like a gameplay perspective, the Vader fight. Uh, because you aren't Cal, you don't have your saber stances, you don't have all your wacky wavy abilities. It is just 
100% fundamentals. You have all of the basic buttons. You have like push and pull and lift and slam. And you have attack and parry. <laughs> and you fight Vader with pure, complete gameplay fundamentals. No cheesy like blaster stance combos or meme fucking shockwaves or whatever. You just have to like duel him, duel him. It's pretty fucking neat. Hey, props to okay, the devs for using so Vader next. twice and doing him justice both times. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Both Vader appearances have been phenomenal. Well, like I said back, we're playing Fallen Order. Fallen Order is the best Star Wars movie that's come out since Disney got the franchise. And Survivor so far is the second best Star Wars movie that's come out Age since Disney got the franchise. Picking up some Imperial comms, no surprises there. Okay. Let's see here. I don't know if you can hear me. It is damn good. But I'm sure gonna miss you. And letting you play as Seer was, yeah, oh, well, like what Pontagon's saying, was also really cool narratively because, like, Cal, Cal can't fucking fight Darth Vader. Like, he's just not at that level. Cal is not gonna fight Vader. Vader's gonna pick him up and choke slam him through a fucking bathroom stall by the mullet. Like, Ready when you are. it's just not gonna happen. So they let you play as an actual super powerful Jedi Master to fight him and still lose, but get to actually fight him. This looks like a Pokemon. Yeah, and the entire sequence up to the Vader fight is just establishing how fucking OP Seer is while you just fight like dozens of Purge Troopers and Stormtroopers at the same time because she's so fucking OP. And here's Vader. So far, so good. All right. So we're on a weird... We're in the last zone for Monster Hunter World. The name of which I do not remember. The Crystal Caves. Oh, is that a red? Is that a just a does not open from this side? Are there more Metroidvania mechanics? That's a does not open from this side. Okay. Opens from the other side. Okay, okay, okay. That's Let's funny. take a look. The gooder this game got, the more mad I got the PC launch. Absolute fucking sin that this game released Which in the way? state that it did. It wasn't even just a PC launch. It sucked shit on consoles too. It was less shit, but it was still shit. Absolute fucking crime that this game launched how it did. And okay, that's a pit I probably can't easily come back from. What's the other way? They both just lead to pits. No. All right, well, we got options. Never mind, this is just a rock. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back. It is, EA has committed a war crime against the nation of gamers by forcing them to release this game when they did. Imagine, I mean like, imagine being respawn, right? Imagine being the dev team and having this absolute incredible fucking masterpiece of a game ruined because your publisher forced you to shit it out. Not even a little bit ready. Okay, so I can dash through those. They're just hurty if you touch them. Any imperial base. We found one probe droid. Calm down. Hey, okay, well, we're climbing around some vents. This is that's definitely Star Wars. It's, ah. Hello? Welcome, Squidling, to 
to the squiddy pool. Ah, look at all these motherfuckers. Damn, Dex. 19 months in the pool. The prime sub, the free money button once a month, just creating wealth for the masses. It's me, I'm the masses. You were the shiniest squidling. Thank you for your support. So I'm fearing if I was a dev, I'd be out for blood. I literally, I cannot imagine how I would feel if I was a dev, if I went to the dev team for this game. Security protocols are corrupted. ATCs appear normal. But external monitoring is offline. Ah, shit. He's an officer in the Imperial Security I was kind of hoping to be sneaky beaky. Secret police. Uh, we found the space Nazis. ISB agent. Okay, just... Just a... Yeah, it doesn't seem like the kind of guy I really need to worry about while I have a lightsaber in my hand. Not that kind of threat, really. <laughs> awesome, the SS. Give me access to the terminal. No, I can't. You're not authorized. I have authorization. You're doing nothing wrong. You're authorized. Access granted. Okay, so he's like a force sensitive, force sensitive. He's this like an ISB base. motherfuckers Jedi Don't mind tricking. Maybe working for Imperial. He's got a whole ass force. We examine it. Look, it's Bode's fighter. There's, there's dumbasses here somewhere. Due to heightened security, this hangar oh. is restricted. All traffic will reroute to tertiary landing pads during constant inspection until further notice. I see. I like clipped into a wall a little bit there. He can do the thing. He can zoot to the wall too. They didn't know the stormtroopers could zoot to the wall. That's awesome. Oh, I can pull it. Excuse me, I need to open this. I can only imagine how much of like a comically large scissor lift you need to get up there for maintenance purposes. Hi. Stop it. I love pulling out a fucking gun and just casting somebody. It's just funny every back. time. Back to normal. Okay. You do not want to be on the Empire's hardware team. Imagine how hard it's got to be to maintain half of this shit. There is no reasonable way to get to like most of their technology. Absolutely none. This is a shortcut. I didn't think that was going to work. Oh, this is the shortcut. The hangar, right? Yep, cool, okay. Made a good circle. Back down we go. Going down. Here we are. Let's go through here. Excuse me. A little hot steam on your face. How they pull that off? Dendrick's going big these days. Can you blame me? Competition for funding is getting fierce. If you ask me, the Inquisitory says it worth the credit. The ISP's track record is far superior. That's a big uh, gun, guy. I'm gonna need this. Someone else take him. 
fuck is this guy? I want to hack this man. You can't stand against Dutch. No, my my dude. I wanted to make you fight each other. I can't hack this one. Is that not a security droid? Help, please. Just what I needed. Is that a different flavor of security droid? Oh, are we going racers? I can only hack the black ones. Wow. Give me this. What are you hack? What are you slicing? Oh, wait, no. So I want to slice this guy. Oh, he's a train. I just meant to put it down. I, I can't let Bode know we're coming for him. I just meant to drop him. I didn't mean to segment the little trash can guy. Third troopers on this base. I still can't quite believe it. <laughs> the amount of force behind Cal's blaster bolts never ceases to be hilarious. It throws motherfuckers like seven to ten feet. Maybe Bode's in the database. That dude got flung the entire right. length of the console. Place in the officers' quarters. Hey, ah, a challenge. What did you just say to me? Oh, this is actually a bit of a fucking problem. Oh, good stun. I've grabbed you. I've <laughs> grabbed you. Who's the robot? Yeah, crash can. Hey, BD1. Oh, I can hack this one, though. But it matters because the last two left now. Love the screen still like their CRT TVs. Yeah, because all the technology in Star Wars is shit. It's all garbage. Except for the fact that we can apparently fucking download most of a Jedi archive onto a USB stick is what they were trying to do. Slicey God, slicey. This. Ah, big head. This is Commander Dennis. Let me be the first to welcome our guests from the Inquisitorians. We are grateful that Lord Vader has shown an interest. Hello, in big head man. We will continue to demonstrate that this bureau is indispensable to the Empire. That was a DT, so that sucks. But with the intelligence our bureau provides, we will prevail. Be always watchful and stay vigilant. And it looks like we are actually going down there. We are the eyes of the Empire. So that super sucks. We must remain vigilant in our search. I don't really want to go over there. Those guys. Oh shit, there was a way I could go up there. Oh no, I can't get back up, can I? Oh, that was a one way. I missed the path. There was just a door that was open, apparently. Okay, goodbye, big head guy. Deep boop. Hacker mullet. Oh. Step one, I need to get the fuck out of here. Hey, buddy. Step two. Howling push. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. A new flavor of helicopter.
Okay, he's down to just the axe. I don't know how to block, so that's not cool. I don't think it's pointless, really. Oh, fuck me. Oh, you two! Who's cooler? Ooh, Stickman. Stickman's looking pretty cool. Ooh, Stickman hit him with the Will It Blend. Two, two wielders getting a couple of swings in there. He's going for a stick, man, with the big overhead. Hits him again. Oh, big unblockable thrust. He's just going right there. Keep going. Unfortunate drop on the timing, but just outranges Double Blade Guy's little thruster and destroys him. Congratulations. You win. <laughs> Think it was a setup? We're not getting the boat until we find that base commander. Okay, so we're... We don't have force unlock a door like seer head that is a jedi master power they both have got sharp but only one of them's got reach man we've learned we know about that one you need you need reach and you need sharp experts in the field have said it again and again the two most important components of a successful weapon deep no lift platform here uh Okay. Where are the Apparently I can go both left and forward. Oh, there's a zappy thing up top. Ah. They never look up. I'm they. Zappy thing. That made a grabber. And then it also claims I can go this way. <laughs> hey, someone left a rock in this hallway. <laughs> I don't know why, but someone left a rock in this hallway. It's a pretty neat little rock. I'll go ahead and take that. Thank you. I like rock. Right, good business. Let's keep going. All security personnel. We've lost visuals on the intruder. Report positive ID to Central Command. Jedi here. Dark believe. Many a trail. The first troopers in the base? I doubt it. Oh. Trash can! <laughs> I take way too much joy in throwing the fucking trash can at people. Okay, so that goes. Perhaps to a shortcut, it looks like. That might be a shortcut of some kind. Yeah, I don't know how to force unlock yet. We'll get that one later. Another thing that... Another fucking... This meeting could have been an email. This upgrade could have been force pull. Welcome, squidling, to the squidding pool. Imagine your last 10 seconds of life is watching a Jedi fail a plunging attack on your friend, kill them anyway, and then you get domed with an R2 droid. As there's the death knight, 67 months in the pool. You were the shiniest squidling. Thank you for the over five and a half years and the prime sub. The free money button's pretty cool. It works out pretty well, it turns out. Force rotate. Get rotated, idiot. Force rotate's pretty appropriate. I'll give him that. All right, let me go in the hall. Zoot. The intruder has been identified as the Jedi terrorist, Cal Pestis. By who? Did you just ask? Did you just go ask Bode? And Bode's like, oh, that's got to be Cal. All personnel, stay clear. I guess the lift doesn't work from here. Bode's just like, that is definitely Cal. Oh, that's annoying. I'm already annoyed. I haven't even started the fight yet, and I'm already mad. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not fighting this. Hey, buddy. 
cool gun. Can I try it? There's a really surprising amount of amount of invisible walls that just prevent you. You didn't even attack. Oh yeah, well I'll hit this button one time. All right, bye. Oh wait, I want to see what's in there. Fuck. Hi. Woo! Oh, nice block. Hey, can I borrow you? Uh oh, they've all got shields, buddy. They got shields. Ooh, nice, uh, nice job circumventing the shield. Nah, you got to do this. You got to show me how to fight shield dudes with a blaster. I'm not good at it. Okay, the secret is to just hit them with. Oh God! Brother. Oh, that's not the grenade. Right here, BD. That's why you're the purge trooper, I guess. That's why they promoted this dude. That's why he's got the cool suit on and he's got the little zapper whackers because he's pretty fucking good. Just what we need. Inquisitor face. He knows what he's about. He can handle a couple of dudes holding trash can lids. That's not going to shut him down. They didn't come to fucking play. Doc, you got the right answer like two or three times in a row. Why'd you resort to shooting? Good question. Oh shit. This is literal hell. No fucking way you're gonna be fight two DTs in an electron hallway. What is that? Brother, I'm just not doing this. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. You're literally insane if you think I'm fighting this. This is missed. Did I? This is getting least cheese. Like, you know that, right? No human being fought this. Nobody fought this fight. Nobody is doing anything but this for this encounter. Calling him with a gun in his combo, he sure fucking does. I just broke him in half with the gun. The second to last hit in the combo is just a pistol whip, which is just fucking hilarious. So absolutely everything can go through this wall except me specifically. It's it's Droids can walk through it. Stormtroopers can walk through it. Bullets can go through it. Lightsabers can go through it. Every single possible thing, except Cal Kestis, gates are down. can go through this fucking laser wall. I guess, yeah, it is, it is pure anti mullet technology. That's what it's actually disintegrating. It doesn't hurt Cal physically. It doesn't hurt his skin or his organs or anything. It doesn't boil his blood out of his fucking body. It just burns off his mullet, which kills him instantly. Hi. <laughs> Cal Kestis. I'd assume the first time we met, you'd be strapped to an interrogation chair. I've heard that before. Still weird. Get on the comms and call off the base alert. Or what? I shoot you. You're a Jedi. I know what you're capable of. And what you're not. <laughs> On the comms. Now. This is Commander Denvik. The Jedi has been neutralized. <laughs> down until further notice. Fair enough. Satisfied? 
I'm here for Bo Dakuna. <laughs> you make a good point, Mr. Mullet. Find this place? A locator beacon on Bo's ship. I'm characteristically careless. Yeah, no, that's what I said too. It, it's not, not real. It's there's some, there's some shenanigans there for sure. You're the one who sent him to infiltrate my team. Correct. Bode has been my weapon for some time. Quite effective. Unlike those armored abominations in the Inquisitorias. So it's true. Seer's dead because of you. No. The Jeddah operation is still months away. You're lying. The Empire burned the archives, led by Darth Vader. Lord Vader. I have to stop this while I still can. <laughs> Don't you see? Bone lured you here to destroy me. They're coming. Dead man, let's. <laughs> Okay. He hit his head so hard the head started. Yeah. Oh, yes, there's this is a fool for there's no way. No one will know. Of absolutely flawless disguise. This is <laughs> This is peak performance right here. It's my secret identity. Nobody will realize that I'm actually mullet man. They will think I'm just a regular Imperial SS officer when really I'm mullet man. Good job. On this episode of Undercover Boss. Cal Kestis, the renowned mullet man from the planet Karibo. Unfound databank entities are now shown on the hollow bank. Hollow map. What's a databank entity? A normal situation, I feel like you would put one here to be able to see, but maybe it's literally just stuff that you can scan. So it's like the least useful thing in the entire game. I'm sure we'll get to like force if that if that's a mechanic we're gonna start introducing is unfound things on the hollow map, then I'm sure that we'll get the stuff like unfound force tears show up on the hollow map and shit like that. Boat's gotta go through yeah. us to get to his ship. Damn it. Let's hurry. Okay, hold on, I wasn't done yet. I was just trying to activate this and I was gonna run off. I thought it was a shortcut. Send me back. Send me back up. Oh, is that a hard one way? Oh, okay. We're good. I just had to get really far off where it went on. Okay. I don't think there's anything else up here, but I didn't really look. Nah, not without force unlock door. We're not really getting anywhere. Force twist it, pull it, bop it. If anyone sees you, it'll blow her disguise. Yes, that's the concern. The concern is people seeing BD, not the mullet. <laughs> BD is the part of the disguise that will give us away. The rest of me is fine. I'm just worried about BD. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. All I can do is walk. Can't even jump. So like my... Can I not open this now? Can I, instead of force unlock, can I regular unlock? Or do I turn this platform back around or something? Beep boop pop beep. Good thinking, BD. See you on the There's other side. the dumpster side. with you, BD. Ah, oh, I don't have to use force unlock when I can use regular unlock. How do you do, fellow stormtroopers? Ah, do you want to crack at him? That's right. Do stormtroopers possess resistance training that I don't know about? That's only for the feeble-minded. Yes, that's exactly my point. You know how I got this mullet? I'm not asking questions of my superiors and just letting them walk by. 
Try again. Maybe he's interrogating the Jedi. You think he's still alive? Denzik said neutralized. He didn't say dead. Yeah, fair enough. Not so easy to capture one alive, mm -hmm. though. Does it look familiar to you? Yeah, a little. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Which way to the officer's quarters? A new recruit, I take it. That's right. You see my well, fucking rank, sir? Of you to be so unaware of your surroundings. Ah, uh, it I'm doesn't. Get out of here. I don't have time for you. Thanks for the warm welcome. Another word, and I'll report you. Do I not outrank this guy by two blue rectangles? I feel like I am well within my rights to literally pull out my pistol and shoot him on the spot, like. Warhammer Commissar style. Can I close that door? Cool. Can I use this while the door is closed? Sick. I'm pretty sure I'm like... <laughs> this goes beyond court-martial to court... Instantaneous execution, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Incredible. It's quite the play for Dendrick. Beating the Inquisitors at their own game. What? Don't let our new guests hear you say that. That's what I thought. Guests. <laughs> They're watching us. Oh, of course. Who's gonna go around and this? We're That's watching cool. them. Let's go. I don't have time for this right now. I got you know, four rank bars. I got important stuff to do. I don't have time to walk through this right now. I fucking got open. State your business. I outrank you. And what is the nature of this appointment? I outrank you. Didn't like that. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Wasn't happy about that one, I guess. It is still Jedi Survivor. It does, it do still be crashing. It's definitely still Jedi Survivor. It's not like it runs very well. <laughs> What's the nature of this appointment? I outrank you. The crash outranks me. Yeah, I mean, that's the top. That's five rectangle right there. That's the power of the five blue rectangles is just shutting the entire fucking game down. I gave back in. <laughs> you hurt yourself pulling right that hard. DJ, down. That's such a fucking nuisance. I'm sure there's other people who share the same rank as the base player. Yeah, it's not, it's not like... I mean, if anything, it's insane. It's insane that that ISB guy I outrank by quite literally double is just shit talking me. Like that's that's unhinged levels of nonsense role play. Like if a DM pulled that shit in a tabletop game, I'd be like, okay, I don't look. No offense, but I don't think this is the kind of game you're suited to running. Like, <laughs> I don't think you understand how these people should interact, really. Mr. Agreeing with new recruit was extremely stupid while having four fucking rank. But there's a lot of like, well, I'll report you to insubordination. To who? Me? Like, <laughs> you'll report me to insubordination. I outrank you. Are the blue rectangles like noob cookies? And like, as you rank up, you lose rectangles and the highest ranking guy in the fucking fort is just wearing a plain white dress shirt. Like, is that what we're going with? Is it backwards style? <laughs> Motherfucker, I report directly to Derek or whoever the dude I just brained on his own desk was. I don't I forgot his name already. <laughs> the rectangles look stupid. The more you have, the stupider you are. I'm curious. No fucking way. I have to do literally the entire base again. It didn't save at any point? There's no way. Hold on. There's no fucking way there wasn't a single save in there. They didn't put an auto save in any of the 37 cutscenes? Oh, that's truly it. It's okay. There's not, there's really not like a list of saves. There is truly just your save file. That's actually it 
This was how far we got in our first play, by the way. <laughs> that was all we did. There was not a single quick save in there. Not one. Oh my fucking god. All right, so forgive me. We're going to speed run now. Which way? I got to want to pick up all the stuff though. You have to find a BD. And if he's even still I got to recollect everything. Let's see how fast I can do this. How much I remember. Not one auto save. Unhinged. That's unhinged. All right. Yeah. Something tells me this isn't just any Imperial base. Chris, did you just want to scan something? Oh, okay. There we go. Go this way. Open this. Grab that guy. Go in here. I gotta scan his body. Let's take a look. Touch this. You will give me access to the terminal. No, I can't. You're not authorized. I have authorization. Me. You're doing nothing wrong. You're authorized. Access granted. If this oh, is a nice throw. What's Bo doing here? Maybe working for Imperial Intelligence? It's actually crazy how dumb Cal is at this point in the story. When you have every no alarms possible piece of evidence telling you that obviously shit is fucked can, can complete with like a jedi fucking psychometric t reading a vode having to mind trick an isb guy into destroying his computer fuck you and then you get to the commander and he's like, wait, I didn't fucking do that. And he's like, fuck you. I'm pretty sure you did. And just kills him. When it's it's very obvious that Bode is not on these guys' team. Be nice, Kyle has like a sixth grade education or whatever Order 66 happened. Oh, you got a good point. I guess, yeah, he was literally a child, like an actual whole ass child. Trash can. Ow. Need a sim. Yeah, I guess I can't hack the tan ones. I guess I can only hack the black ones for some reason. You want to scan something? You want to scan something? That. All right, cool. Scan that. Slice that. Let's keep going. Nice and quiet. Can't let Bode know we're coming from. They go so far. The motherfuckers just noodle into the distance, and apparently we can go through this door. Oh god. This door was a fucking mistake. Second big robot, please. My homie! I have been here 
I shot his arm off. Don't need you at No arms for you. Damage taken. Damage negated. Damage taken. Whoa! You can. Pa I just was doing my combo and it parried the red attack. You can parry red attacks. This is lies of P. Has it been lies of P the whole time? It don't. The only option was dodge. <laughs> it's for a skill point, fucking Lamau. Okay, that's intel. Keep that one up in the noggin for later. We did miss that last time, to be fair. Maybe Bode's in the database. Last repair you can parry most reds. Right. What the fuck? Got a place in the officer's quarters. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Fuck you. Ow. Oh, you got me. I think that does like one damage. Speedy, finish attacking him. Did you hack the other one? I'll never forget you. My guy who lived for one second and did nothing and then died. <laughs> the range at which you can do that is consistently impressive. Okay. Okay. Oh, I could have thrown a trash can at somebody. No, there was a throwable trash can. I didn't put anybody in the trash. I didn't put the trash in anybody rather than put anybody in the trash. Hello, giant head. Always on point. Okay, so we're gonna go down here and fight all this really annoying shit. But now we know secret tech, which is that I can parry with gun. You win. No. Scientists said it was literally the greatest play they've ever seen, ever. Fight with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Bad time. Okay, it's kind of hard to parry on this guy. It's not working. I think this is strictly worse than just fighting him normally. You can do it. He doesn't have any arms. What's he gonna do? Headbutt you to death? Kick his ass! Give him a shield! Kick his ass! Oh no! I fell are after you. All right, this time we'll try my controlling two swords and see if he goes any better. We get some from behind, gets a couple hits in the back. He's a lot. He's keeping the pressure up a lot better this time. He's getting in there. He's not letting the unblockables come out. Got like a circling jump. Oh, but unfortunately, the mind control gap. 
Give Stampy Boy a second to come up. Oh, good dodge. Now he's got the reach. Now he's got the distance. The guy with the reach and the sharp has got the range he needs, but the double blade is closing it quickly, getting in there. Good unblockable, knocking him down. Not enough to finish it off, but to send them both flying a little bit, and they come together, and all they both get Jedi pushed off a cliff. I think it was a setup. <laughs> We're not getting the boat until we find that base. Who could possibly have foreseen this? Truly unfortunate. If only the Empire built handrails. It's crazy how many super secret mega science bases in various, like, I want to call it sci fi fantasy games, don't have the slightest bit of, like, baseline OSHA compliance that would save just so many lives. This is the same with all the Resident Evil bases. Hi. Also, trash can. <laughs> Why does it scream when you throw it? <laughs> Why does they can scream? I don't think... I oh, I do actually have to go up there, don't I? I do have to go up there because I have to hit the one little power cell on that one. Why did you program them to scream? Because thought it'd be funny. Like, <laughs> All right, well, it was, so, you know, fair enough, I guess. I can just fucking scream in terror. There's one thing evil organizations hate, it's sensible regulation. It's common sense safety guidelines for the workplace. Okay, so I'm just going to tap this just because I'm afraid of losing 40 minutes of progress again. In my long and storied history of video games, if it crashes somewhere once, it's more likely to crash in literally exactly that same spot again. Parry push does seem very funny. The question is, am I literally ever going to use it? And the answer is no. But what if I could make big boys fall over? Okay. One more scope point, I'll make big boys lifty too, and then I'll have lifty slammy on everybody, and then... The goal is to get all my force powers except pole, because I just never really use pole. Get all the rest of my force powers to the point where I can use them on everybody. I can mind control pretty much anybody. I can lift pretty much anybody. And soon, I'll be able to slam pretty much anybody. Can I hold this? Oh fuck, it's so funny, dude. Where are you? I'm literally begging you to switch saber stances. It's so fucking unresponsive. Oh. Parry auto hits? That's pretty cool. He's got an auto connecting parry. Stop, you're, you're still stunlocked from his parry. I'll do this again because it was funny last time. So just... you got him, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. 
very glitching out. Oh, it's... Local man can do nothing but hit his own team. You want to protect me. Not effectively, though. He's having a way harder time against the shield boys this time. He's, he's struggling this time. Fair enough. I like how the shot grenades have a team. Yeah, I'm bored of these guys. I'm bored of you guys. This wasn't funny this time. Okay. Please slice it, please. Okay, okay. Great. I feel like there was somewhere else to go in here. Nope, just keep going. Okie dokie. We've got him for his lunch break this time. He didn't get his turbo dog in. He wasn't really ready to game. Requesting backup. Report to Central Command. Alright, so let's. Very slowly do this again. Yeah, we headbutted me. Fuck you, God. Come here. I want to do stuff to you. Oh, I'm dead. He's, he cast auto kill. Okay, good thing he, he glitched out. Glitched out so we get to live. It makes a big trash can noise when he hits you. That's hilarious. All right. Wait a second. There we go. Low. The graphics on the energy cells breaking seems to so far be the leading indicator that the game is going to crash. Laser gates are down. So I'm a little worried because they're currently broken. But we're back at the office again. Hi. I'm a fella. Okay, so before we scan the one thing, let's grab this thing first, just so I can see what they look like on the map. Just slice that. this. Learn about completionism, please. Oh, they just show up. Okay, they're very obvious icons. They're literally just like an icon. It's not even like Good a job. little blip. Fair enough. Let's go back. Yeah, game crash. Lost about 40 minutes of progress. Boat's gotta go through us to get Big rewind. Let's uh, Twitch crash? No, I just dropped about a thousand frames. Today's cursed as fuck, my dudes. Today is cursed as fuck. Phenomenally fucking cursed day. His name is Link Denvik. <laughs> fucking Link. That is a really funny first name. This is definitely better for my eyes. They're still kind of hurting. It made... I didn't realize dilating my pupils was going to fuck me this much. I haven't had my eyes dilated in like years and I think I usually do it on a day off. I just wanted to get the first possible appointment because I'm like completely out of contact lenses. But this uh this is fucking me up way more than I thought it was going to. Where are they interrogating the Jedi? I didn't even like know that was a thing that was gonna happen. I was just good I just wanted to go in, get the vision test, and get some contacts. But apparently if you haven't been there in several years, they really want to dilate you. Because they wanna make sure you're not getting fucking glaucoma or whatever. 
as Cal thinks this guy is going to work. Look, we've made all the mullet jokes the first time before the game crashed. I can't just make all the same jokes again the second time through. Incredible. It's quite the play for Dendry. All right, here we are, talking to this guy who crashed the game last time. State your business. I have an appointment. I outrank you. What is the nature of this appointment? I outrank you. I'm an intruder. We think the intruder wasn't acting well. Okay, that's smarter than what I said. out on my watch. I'm going to have to call in a security droid. Stay right there. Send down a security droid. Is this necessary? Let me through now. I can't not without security yeah they still did the eye puff test no fucking kill your family let me through or i'll report you to denvik for insubordination Who based on my rank I is me so you through and go on officer. well it's a good thing literally nobody here apparently knows what the rank icons mean so that works out oh this is the snowflake face hey buddy be ready for anything Darth Vader. No, I'm pretty sure Vader's not actually here. I'm pretty sure Vader. I, I, if the angle they're going is that Bode is Vader's apprentice, which I really think that's exactly Slicing. what they're doing. Fuck, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know why. He's not here. Let's look around. But that, that to me, very strongly seems like the angle they're going to go for was gathering intel on us the whole time. I want to look at this one. I don't usually read these. Oh, never mind. There's not any information in this. That one was interesting, and I wanted to, like, get more data. He has a Jedi meditation circle. He has a scale model of the Death Star. Okay, it's actually just a regular ball with a ring light over it that's reflecting and make it look makes it look kind of like... Oh, God, safe point. Okay, so we're safe. Now I can teleport into the officer's quarters later. Okay, now I can lift and slam anybody, I think. <laughs> He's like, help! I don't really know why you would lift people. It's like slam, but it doesn't do awesome. damage. Oh, I sure... Okay, I kind of figured he was lying about the daughter thing. I figured he didn't even have one. I thought he was just fucking with us. Oh, Easy, sweetheart. I know. It's just me and you now, Kara. Hmm? Just me and you. Bode's daughter. And her mother. Assume that lifting and slam will cause extra damage. They combo. You know what else combos? Slam and then slam. That combos too. The only data disc. Looks ancient. Let's see what's on it. Okay, that's a different one. That's not the one we bring to V. That's a... Okay, so what are we just taking that and leaving? That appears to have been the objective. Yes, I guess we're just... Oh, now all of these doors are suddenly green. Interesting. We're gonna bode V2 on the way out the door. We fought Dagon three times, and he was just the mid-game boss. PD, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just being a little fucking monkey, just doing flips. Oh, no, my objective is still in there. Huh? Huh? This lift and big push could be funny. That's actually true. If there's a cliff, I could lift them first to get additional yeetage before I throw them all. That's the best idea I've heard so far. Oh, they wanted this. Okay. Be fine. Oh, I just need the data disc first, I think. Dagon was watching. Are you stupid? Sorry. I... You scared me. 
You must be Carter. I'm Cal. And this is BD1. I know he looks like garbage, but that's because he's made of garbage. Where's your dad, Carter? I want to shoot him in the face, a like, trick? a lot of times. Okay, that is not an answer that a child would give to that question. <laughs> no. You're the first person to figure that out. So the angle, the angle that we're taking is that every Imperial officer is dumber yeah. than a seven-year-old child, and we're just going to say yeah. it directly. Like that's that's the angle we're going well, with. Okay, because that's an packing. that's an interesting angle. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't think I've ever heard it stated so clearly. Is this a Mookie? Is this Mookie? What kind of Pokemon is this? <laughs> kind of looks like me. He got, he's got a similar Hello. mullet. My mama gave him to me. Kata. Did your dad tell you where he's taking you? It was supposed to be a surprise. But you got here a little sooner than I expected. Come here, Kata. Papa, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Me and this man are going to have a lightsaber fight. Friend. We had a fight, but we'll get things settled. When we go. Jedi? Yeah. How'd you survive the purge? You don't have a mole. Council assigned a few of us to intelligence during the Clone Wars. I used the skills that I learned there to disappear. Went into hiding. Didn't know who to trust. Familiar story. most incredible woman. Mama. Who was an inquisitor? One day, Kata and I were out running errands, and I got this message. Don't come home. Inquisitors. Looking for me. That do be what they do. They have one job. My wife. Find guys with lightsabers. Bought us the time to escape. I knew I couldn't run forever. And so I cut a deal. Dunvi keeps us hidden. As long as Papa stays useful. You were lying to us from the very start. Tanelor was a way out for both of our families. But you were going to give it to the hidden path. A, a, a bunch of strangers. And you were going to sacrifice thousands of people to save yourself. What is your plan, Bo? To go live on an uninhabited planet alone? There's nobody left there, right? I don't understand. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't get I why the hidden path the also being on Tantalor ruins. Why, but why understand. can't you also go there? What's the what's the, the loss? The whole point of the hidden path going there is that it's just more people that want to hide I understand from the, the Empire. Like we're doing the same thing. That you lured me here to take down this base, right? 
I don't get why the hidden path going means Bode can't go. It's still, it's, if anything, better. Fighting the Empire is what you do best. The intruder is in my quarters. He's armed. Shoot to kill. Kill that Jedi. Bode! You motherfuckers. Get out of my way. That's a lot of fellas. Uh, okay. That's a... We learned force unlock. Oh. Shit, the lock on. The guy right in front of me, please. I'm literally begging you. Oh, there's some kind of weird invisible wall. All right, I see. Thanks. Appreciate you. Oh, good shoot. Thanks. Do it. All right. So we just learned four sunbox by getting mad. Too much to block. Is that four flamethrower troopers? Oh, Jesus! Being a, okay, you can dodge it, but you can't get your parry up in time, but you can dodge it. Dude, I literally can see you. Cal is in murder mode. We are killing everybody. Shot that rocket at me. Fuck you. So, slow is insane now. Boat's escaping. If he 
gets away, he's gone forever. Slow is insane now. Oh, they added a circle here. Destroy that fighter. Don't let that traitor escape. We're too late. We've got to get back to the Mantis. All personnel, report to the hangar immediately. Protect me. I'm begging you to switch weapons. together Ooh, gone time for stim the secret ingredient is gone Baron Oh Help. hi Marin Why are you here Why do you think you. Where did the floor go? Marin, there's a lot of motherfuckers and I don't know how to get over there. Oh shit. Not Help me. Threat. Help me. Help! He's choke slamming my ass! Paco. Help me out. Evil dick. Oh, he's got a big sweepy. Down you go. His little unavoidable combo is the most annoying shit in the world. Woo! Nice dodge. Didn't matter, but nice dodge. Okay, I'll have one of these with a single hit point. You, thanks for the help. Glad you were there. Super worth hacking you. Good work, guy who did nothing. Up! Ah! Down. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the point. I guess that was more of a up and then push situation. Oh, I missed you helicopter technique. Serious? Brother, you see all that and you're like, I can take him. Fight with me. You're not the enemy. Lol. Nuke him. Good catch. Oh, good double. Stop. <laughs> Cease. Fuck him up, Marin. So why do they have a deployable fucking on. floor anyway? What is the point of that? I guess so they can dispense dickheads into the room when necessary. Sometimes it's necessary, like right now specifically. We'll take them together. Oh my god. Here, 
Jesus fucking Christ. That was, uh... Lot of DTs. Where's Boat? They're gone. Lot of fucking DTs. Daughter and the compass. They use me as a distraction. So it is still slow. Crack mode is still just slow. And that if I hit them a couple of times, they do get knocked out of it and they can move normally. But I keep insane damage the whole time now. Do it! Rather you than Lord Vader. Who is this? boat after our team my crew cordova mm. fear mm. they're all dead because of him Cal! Mm. this is what boat wants i know you are in pain Marin, we just you. killed like 200 the imperials why enough from us why is this one I the line We just killed like a hundred Imperials. You won't. Look. <laughs> See you on the mountain. That one specifically though is too far. Give the Inquisitors my regards. <laughs> I like how they probably want people to be popping dark side for every fight in this section. But in case you're just steamrolling and throwing hands, they throw fucking 10 DTs at you. They're like, all right, do this without your super asshole. Yeah, that's exactly, that was the feeling I got too. I turned the corner to 25 DTs and I was like, ah, okay, yeah, I'll go dark side mode then. <laughs> I did notice it was instantly refilling every time I used it. I did notice I used it and I immediately got it back again. But... And I was like, nah, I can take him. And then, you know, 10 DTs showed up. And no, I, I cannot, in fact, take him. That's too many fucking guys. Oh. Oh, finally, I was worried. Did he down? Don't tell me. He was fighting the entire base, wasn't he? That's what I do, Kreeze. Okay, Cal. We got no boat. We got no compass. Now tell me the truth. I can take it. We lost him. One compass remains. If you're hearing there this, is you another. But if the compass is gone, do not despair. What's this? This isn't just last goodbye. There is another way to reach Tanalor. Activate the arrays and align them to the coordinates embedded in this message. It's okay. The plot will have as many. There's one more way to get to Tanalor as it needs. <laughs> There's a control center here. We align the arrays, we can create a flight path We're on like the bits. third, but wait, there's let another me, way. Let me get this straight. In this me, final message, the final, nebula, final V2, final turn in, back. final, but in all caps, yes. finished, <laughs> dot oh, doc. Oh. This one has the real last way to get to Tantalor. Okie dokie. <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> All right. Can I put my outfit back on, please? I don't want to look like an Imperial man anymore. I have two more skill points, probably largely from the 200 DTs we just killed. Is there anything I want in double bladed? This might be funny. I've never used it before. But, like, obviously you can combo it into a pulsing burst, which I've also never used before. Should see how it works. Then I guess I'll just get health. I don't fucking know. We're, like, truly running out of things that I want at all. I guess if we go to Unrelenting Pull... Then all of my force powers work on everybody. So I guess we should put five points. Next five points are going to unrelenting pull. Okie dokie. 
All right, real quick. Before I take a break or anything, I'm going to go look at my eyes. Let me go see. This dilation shit lasts way longer than I remember it lasting. I thought it was only like an hour or two. Am I still super fucking dilated? I am indeed. <laughs> it's definitely like going down a little. It's still pretty fucking dilated. I can tell on a kind of it kind of hurts. All right. So in the best interest of not fucking up my eyes, I probably should stop streaming <laughs> and sitting in here looking at a computer screen. I should probably go just like walk my dog and hang out on the couch and not look at a bright screen. Or at least be in a situation where I can like freely stand up and walk away from it and take breaks. Whenever my eyes start to, to hurt a little bit, we should probably stop this. It's I didn't expect dilation to make this much of a difference. Well, first of all, I wasn't planning on getting dilated today until I got there and they just did it. Well, they, they asked, but I was like, yeah, I guess I probably should. But uh, I also really didn't think it would last us. I didn't think that was going to affect the stream at all. But I think I should make this a short one. Unfortunately, because I don't want to fucking stop playing, man. This game is getting really fucking good. It was already good, but now it's getting like super interesting fucking good. God damn it! Like, <laughs> I want to play more of this fucking game! We'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to fucking take care of myself. And not hurt my eyes. Son of a bitch. Fine. Fine! I will accept the signals I'm receiving from my body and stop streaming for today. I guess. I'll be back tomorrow. Sorry the charity stream thing didn't end up happening, by the way. I know it's kind of a tangent at this point, but like, yeah. D unfortunate situation on that one. It's, uh sucks <laughs> it just sucks to suck uh on my front i think for not looking into things though apparently i am look okay what let's 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 the details of why we're not doing the charity stream are relevant but in a completely unrelated tangent just while i'm on my way out here man it kind of sucks that we live in an ecosystem where basically everything is a scam these days it has nothing to do with why i'm not doing the charity stream legally this is a different conversation now but like man the future it sucks <laughs> like, thanks for hanging out everyone sorry to have sorry for the half day i don't want to fuck my eyes up after just going to the optometrist to make sure my eyes aren't fucked up and they're kind of hurting it, i mean it's a little more than kind of it's fucking i already went to turn the lights off and put the sunglasses on and it's still fucking hurting my eyeballs i'm gonna go sit actually it's cloudy over outside i could probably still go walk the dog and then i'm gonna go sit in a much darker room than this still probably wear the sunglasses and just fucking vibe I'll be back tomorrow for more Jedi Survivor. This game's fucking awesome, and the story is starting to absolutely bang. So come back tomorrow, everyone. Good night, friends.